Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another Traveler's Notebook project share to share with you guys. All of the information and everything you guys might need will be linked down below. Tutorial information, links to anything I show, clear things, elastic, these charms and things like that. Everything is going to be linked down below. The collection you get like literally everything, seam binding, everything, okay? So please check the description box down below before you guys ask me any questions. If I for sure am missing something, you can let me know in the comments and I will definitely add that into the description box as well. Um, but for the most part, everything is linked in the description box in case you guys want any information on um, these traveler's notebooks. So I made three more traveler's notebooks when i asked on instagram what kind of theme people wanted um people said summer right and then i'm going through my summer paper and i'm like wait a second i got tropical theme i got a pool theme i got a nautical theme like what am i supposed to create so i ended up making all the themes um after messaging each individual person that said they wanted one to determine which theme that they wanted so that i can make sure that i make enough for everybody that wanted one so that's how I sell these Traveler's Notebooks. I always post on Instagram, and when you're interested on Instagram, I'll have like a poll in my stories, and if you're interested in buying one, there'll be a poll that says, I want to buy one, so that when I make them, I can message you and let you choose which one um, it is that you wanted. Um, so that's how I sell these Traveler's Notebooks. I do not make extra of these for the most part um, because that I am limited on the notebooks that I put in here. Um, they don't make them anymore, so I'm limited on whatever I have um, in my stash when I stocked up. Um, but once they're gone, that's it. Like, I don't have any more. Um, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to show you guys what these inside of the Traveler's Notebooks look like and what the charms look like up close in detail. But first, let's go over the paper. So let's get started. So for these Traveler's Notebooks, I use this collection called the By the Sea. It is by Cartabella. So I was actually a little worried because, you know, I've used double-sided paper and that has worked great. Cartabella, this is super duper thick paper, guys. So I wasn't sure how this was going to work once I bent it. But what? Like this bends like a dream, guys. There was no cracking whatsoever. Like you could just fold it and it was absolutely perfect. I have absolutely no cracking that I have seen not on the notebooks not on anything like it just was amazing working with this like okay next time like I'm not even gonna worry about it I could literally use any paper to make these notebooks and every single paper that I've used so far like always works out super duper great with the exception of like when I work with paper that's like glittered or has a little glossy element to it like those don't fold so well but like regular paper, whether it's Michael's paper pad or Echo Park double-sided paper or Cartabella double-sided paper, they all work so great. So whichever paper. Um, so this is By the Sea, a nautical themed one. This paper is so cute. I love it. And let me show you what cut aparts I have left. Not cut aparts, what scraps I have left. So I don't have a lot. This is all I have couple of pieces I could probably make a couple of cards with this and use like a couple of these sticker elements for this one I did not use any of the stickers from the sticker sheet I don't know why I always buy collection kits you pay $15 for them and I'm literally paying for the sticker sheet and then I, yeah, I never use the sticker sheet but I mean it's so much easier to just get a whole collection kit than just buying individual papers to me but uh, yeah so this one in particular I did not use when I made the other traveler's notebooks I did use some of the sticker sheets or some pieces from the sticker sheet. I still have a bunch left, but this one I did not use at all. Um, but I will have that collection kit linked down below in case you guys are interested in it. And let's get started in the Traveler's Notebooks. So again, everything is gonna be linked down below. This one says sunshine and seashells, elastic is linked, seam binding is linked for you guys. The clear um, things, I tell you where to get them. Um, these charms are adorable. I don't have links for the seashell charms. So each one of these has a different seashell. I don't know. They're just, they were just random in my stash. I have no idea where I got them from. They are random. If I could find them, I will try to find and link something similar. 
but what I can do is link these starfish. So these starfish are actually flat backs and I attached a clear bail to them, which makes it like a little dangle charm. So that's an option. If you guys have flat backs, I'm going to have the starfish linked down below. I will have the bales linked down below and it's just super duper cute. So I love how these little charms came out. They're chunkier than I normally make them, but still not too chunky. And I just, I love them. And then here's the back. So when you open this up and they all are the same for the most part, with the exception of the papers that are slightly different. So on the inside here, you just have a cut apart and like a clear, um, not a clear, like a white card. And this goes into this clear pocket, which I'm also going to have linked down below. So you could obviously add goodies into the regular pocket, which is like the clear vinyl sleeve. But I do add this additional pocket in here as well. You've got a notebook here, pockets on the inside front and back of each notebook so two pockets in each notebook there's three notebooks so that's six pockets right there plus you have a folder which i'll get into in more detail this cute little anchor paper clip i have these in these nautical themed um traveler's notebooks and i will have this anchor paper clip to link down below for you guys as well cut apart here that says by the sea and cute little like whales right there this notebook opens up pocket pages pocket and then this page, this one is a folder and you guys see I do reinforce it with Tyvek to make it extra sturdy because the folders aren't as thick as the notebooks and they can rip if you do not reinforce them. So these, um, this is the inside and I have two tags, one in each side of the folder. So there's that one and then there's one on this side as well and they just live in between the pages of the folder. Then this last page, I've got like this whale paper clip. I will try to link these down below, but each one of these notebooks also has a different one because that's all I had in my stash. So I will try to find something similar to like these whale or dolphin kind of paper clips as well. And I will link it in the description box. So this, this cut apart says set sail for an adventure. You've got another notebook and pocket. And that is this traveler's notebook that says sunshine and seashells. And then the next one I have, this one says the beach is my happy place. The dangles are pretty much similar, just with the exception of this one that has a different seashell. Um, seam binding is different, the colors. And when you open this one up, it looks like this. It says surf, sand, um, surf, sun, sand, sea. Got this notebook, pages, anchor paper clip, down by the sea cute pages this folder looks like this you've got the tag so that's the anchor one and then you've got that one like a compass kind of direction one then here you've got another cut apart and this one's just like a thin um, paper clip and then this notebook so that's that one that one's called the beach is my happy place and then the last one, so anytime I use a whole collection kit, I'm only able to get three of the traveler's notebooks out of it. I think also next time I might just do two notebooks instead of three. Like this is pretty full, right? I know a lot of people have messaged me that they take out one of the notebooks to so that they could fill up everything else pretty much themselves. So I might do that next time and try it with two notebooks in a folder and see how that works. Maybe I'll make two folders, two notebooks. I'm not sure yet, but um, I might try something. And then this one says the ocean stirs the heart, inspires the imagination, and brings eternal joy to the soul. And this has this cute little seashell right there. That's what that looks like. And then when you open this up, looks like this. You've got a whale watch cut apart. You've got this uh, notebook. You've got your anchor paper clip and it says fun in the sun. Another notebook. Then you've got this floral, um, what is it called, the folder. And you've got your um, tags in here, just like so. And then you've got this notebook with another cut apart. This time this one has a little arrow. I didn't have another like whale or anything. So this one has an arrow, um, which I thought was still like nautical themed. And then um, a notebook and that is everything. So those are the three Traveler's Notebooks I was able to create with the By the Sea collection by Cartabella. 
Again, everything is gonna be linked down below for you guys in case you guys wanna know information on how to make them or where I got things. So everything is linked down below. And that is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next crafty video. I will talk to you soon. Bye.